Hi, welcome to your spirit reading for Tuesday. I'm going to be pulling a page from the Encyclopedia of Spirits to see what energy or spirit may be with us tomorrow as we go throughout the day, guiding us, influencing us, or inspiring us. So this may just be for fun. Either way, I hope you enjoy the reading. Let's get started. Pulling a page for Tuesday. Lamia, Lamias, origin is Greek. The name Lamia may be interpreted as meaning single shark, but the plural. Um, Lamia or ominous spirits associated with snakes. Each individual Lamia is a Lamia. These Lamias or Lamias are perceived as threatening to men as well as children. There are succubus-like spirits who creep up on sleepy men, holding them spellbound with sexual fantasy while consuming their flesh and draining their blood. Sometimes Lamea manifests as women of easy virtue who solicit young men, especially those who are robust, robust and well-fed. Once alone, however, these men are consumed literally. Their bones pick clean. In the Middle Ages, the term Lamea became a synonym for witch is now sometimes used to indicate a female vampire. A thirst for blood, like baby killing Lamia, these Lamia are removed and replaced their eyeballs at will, magically directing their movements to facilitate sight. Their eyeballs can gaze behind their backs, out of the window, across the hall, and so forth. Lamia still hunt modern Greek folklore. They live with dragons in caverns and deserts, but sometimes try to insinuate themselves into households, possibly so they can eventually attack. Their sneak attacks are more effective, however, than these long-range plots. Lamea tend to be inept, gluttonous, stupid, and not very clean. Well-fed Lamea become lazy and corpulent. The tip-off to their true identity is their absolute inability to do any sort of housework, especially cook. They literally cannot boil water and never seem to learn. They sometimes display gratitude towards those who help them out of their inevitable kitchen troubles. Maybe bloodthirsty vampires, but the Lamea bear a reputation for honesty, if only because they're not smart enough to lie before keeping promises. Manifestation. Lamea may manifest as women or as beautiful women from the waist up, but snakes below. John Keats in his poem Lamea described her as a snake disguised as a woman. Modern Greek folklore suggests that the clue to identifying the Lamea lie in their feet. They may be mismatched, or there may be more than two. One may be of bronze, or there may be an animal foot, a donkey, goat, or ox foot. See also Aisha, Kwandisha, Baba Yaga, Baba Yaga, which we got yesterday. Um, Dia Blesse, Exotica, Kumiho, Lamia, Lamia of the Sea, and Vampire. Right. So, oh shoot, I lost the page. Um, okay, well, I hope that you found that interesting and that you have a great Tuesday. All right.